If you guys want some defensive breakout candidates, then share this video. We're about to break down the offensive breakout candidates. I've got six names-ish. I cheated on one of them, as I always do on these videos. But we're going to break down the offensive ones. If you want defensive breakout candidates, you have to share today's video. Help us out and do it right now. This is the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. First up on the offensive breakout candidates list, how about Jalen Tolbert? Lots of routes you could have gone at wide receiver in general. I'm going to go with Tolbert, who has drawn praise after every open OTA, mini camp session so far. Seems like he's much more comfortable, much more confident, much more locked in. Everything trending in a better direction for Jalen Tolbert. Uh, then have a disastrous season last year. He, was, he got hurt. He got overwhelmed. He wasn't confident. He's moving faster, not because he is faster, because he's just more comfortable out there, which is a big deal for Tolbert because the Cowboys can't have this again. They can't have a spot that was one of their biggest needs last year, their third-round pick who was super hyped, being a complete non-factor again. Now, maybe in an ideal world, Tolbert doesn't play that much anyway, because of the presence of C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks and Michael Gallup. But how does football work? You know, guys get banged up at times. You'll probably need at least a few series out of Jalen Tolbert. Now, Gallup could have been a candidate here. I think he's more bounce back, kind of same with Brandon Cooks. Almost put Smith Aoko on this list too. Devontae Turpin is a quality name as well. But I'm going to go one position max for each of these groups. Well, except for one, which I'm cheating again. But I didn't want to do three receivers on the list, so I picked just only one receiver there. I went with Tolbert in the end. So do you believe in the Jalen Tolbert redemption arc that at least the Cowboys are hoping happens this year? Why for yes and for no in the comment section. All right, this is my cheating answer here, at least one of the two cheats I make here. Tony Pollard. And you might go, is this really a breakout? He's been really good. I do think there is room for another sizable, obvious breakout step forward out of Tony Pollard this year. And the, the one thing I want to keep harping on is that Tony Pollard has gotten a bigger workload every season. More touches, more touches, more touches, more touches, bigger role, more involved. And despite that, the efficiency has not really dropped off at all. He, he continues to be one of the more reliable, explosive, steady, big play threats on this Cowboys team. Now, I think that the breakout is maybe pushing, instead of 193 carries, maybe pushing somewhere in the 220, 230, maybe, maybe 240, but probably a bit much in the end for Pollard, just for most backs, frankly. But if he can do that, we're talking about Tony Pollard as a pretty consistent top 10 back in the NFL. So name a player who you think breaks out on offense. I got a few more names to get to, but I want to hear your names as well. If an ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage. Head down to the pinned comment and vote for a player you think breaks out on offense this year. Malik Davis. Again, I'll cheat here since Pollard is a little bit more established, and I wanted to get Davis in here too. Uh, I did not include first-year players on the breakout list because I never do. They don't have anywhere to break out from. They're, they're new. They're just arriving basically but Malik Davis is a name to monitor in that RB2 role along with a player like Enrico Dowdle, Deuce Vaughn etc. Malik Davis did not play very much against San Francisco. Uh, some whispers buzz that leading up to that game he was upset with his playing time and his role after he showed some promise earlier that season averaged 4.2 yards per carry at, in a smaller role after some injuries to Zeke and Pollard got nicked up a little bit. Wasn't happy. So this made that clear to the staff. Staff said, okay, well, you're not going to play. And that led to some issues there. But now he gets a chance to truly become the RB2 for this Cowboys team behind Tony Pollard. They like Malik Davis out of Florida. The numbers don't jump off the screen for you, but it was a better efficiency than what Zeke had last year. And the Cowboys have some hopes for him this upcoming season. Now there's a lot of competition. Deuce Vaughn, the, the rook. Ronald Jones, the veteran free agent signing who may or may not make the team. Malik Davis, Rico Dowdle. 
somebody's got to emerge, whether on this roster or maybe even not on at this moment. And Malik Davis has a chance to be that guy for this Cowboys team this upcoming season. He's got to prove it, though, in training camp, etc. The tight ends, Jake Ferguson. I think I'll see plenty of Fergusons in the comments when we ask about the player you think breaks out this year. With Dalton Schultz now gone, Ferguson is the leading returner at tight end. He's ahead of Peyton Hendershot. Might not have the same athletic skill set as Hendershot or even rookie Luke Schoonmaker, but if Ferguson can be that safety valve in the same way that Dak Prescott trusted Dalton Schultz to be, that will go a long way for a role he's able to carve out. Given his production last year, which was minimal but was efficient, 22 targets, 19 catches, 174 yards, two scores, there is plenty of reason to think he could maybe not so much touchdowns, but like the catches, the yards, Doubling is a very realistic possibility depending on how the Cowboys use their, their tight ends and how the rest of the, uh, I don't know how to describe this delicately. Um, some people have a type when it comes to dating. The Cowboys have a type at tight end in Luke Schoonmaker, Jake Ferguson, Peyton Hendershot, Sean McEwen. They've all got some similar traits. They, they look fairly similar as well. Uh, they good luck picking them out of the lineup. Maybe they'll wear, wear different uh, armbands since there's a bit of an overlap in the numbers as well. But if Ferguson can emerge, that will go a long way for him in terms of being a reliable piece, not just this year, but down the road for the Cowboys at tight end. Now, we have you locked up with all the latest Cowboys news, rumors, updates, breakout candidates, whatever it is, with training camp still about a month away, but we have you covered. Hit that sub button for free Cowboys videos each and every single day right here on the Cowboys Report. Tyler Smith is next up here. And yes, I do think breakout is still the right word for Tyler Smith. Make no mistake, I was very impressed with how he played in year one. I think he exceeded the expectations around him in his first season. He impressed as a rookie. He, he was able to handle... Well, it was going to be a left guard role, and then, no, he's left tackle, and then, okay, maybe some left guard, okay, no, back, 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 and left tackle, kind of back and forth, in and out. They threw a lot on his plate, the Cowboys did, and Tyler Smith handled it really, really well, which I do think matters a lot for him looking forward in terms of his hope, his impact for this Cowboys team, but we're focused in on this year, and I'm still not exactly sure what the role will look like for Tyler Smith. What I want to see him get better at is some of the plays he allowed. Uh, there, the footwork, the hand technique has gotten better. But to be clear, Tyler Smith was still a penalty boy last season. 13 flags is a lot of penalties. Six sacks allowed on the high side. Now, four of those flags were declined because normally he got, a couple times he got tagged for a sack and a hold, which was pretty rough there. He's a great run blocker. I like a lot of what I've seen from Tyler Smith. I'm still not sure if it's left guard this year, left tackle down the road, or just left tackle, period, because the Cowboys don't quite know how many games Tyron Smith will play. I would say good chance Tyler Smith has to play at least some left tackle to be determined if it is all left tackle or if it is still a mix and match from that perspective. So where do you think? Tyler Smith should play. Where do you want him lined up at? LT for left tackle or LG for left guard? You guys can go ahead and, and vote for me in the comment section. No wrong answers, just your opinion. Head down there and vote on a position for Tyler Smith. Cheating again here, as promised. Is it cheating if you say it's cheating? Probably. But anyway, pick your sixth offensive lineman. Uh, somebody is going to have to play snaps for this team because there's just no way Tyron Smith actually stays healthy the entire time. That's not that's not something Tyler, Ty Tyron Smith's able to do. He's always banged up. So three names to monitor here. Chuma Adoga, Matt Waletsko, or Matt Farniak. I think one of those three guys, if not multiple of them, will be counted on to play starter snaps and start games 
probably at the left guard spot, given histories of Tyron Smith. Now, Chuma Adoga flashed a little bit very briefly last year for the Falcons, then got hurt, did not get to play really at all outside of that one game. The career stats are basically less than a season. Really bad first year with the Jets. That's why the sacks are so high and the hurries, et cetera, are so high. The run grade is so low. Bad first year, better last year, but small sample size. Matt Farniak, meanwhile, zero sacks, six hits, seven hurries on a small sample size is not that great. But the Cowboys coaching staff seems to like him. He can play center guard. They think he's got some tackle emergency ability, but he's not going to be a tackle. Adoga, by the way, can play guard or tackle. Matt Lesko, I thought, was only a tackle, but I think this new coaching staff, led by Mike Solari, the new O-line coach, likes him quite a bit. That's why they gave him some run at left guard. He's gotten some backup right tackle reps. Maybe he could be your swing tackle even. Maybe that's the path this team ends up potentially pursuing. But there is uncertainty at that left guard spot or other starting spot somewhere. The Cowboys will need one of those linemen to step up. Hopefully they do.